Hello, and welcome to our contemplative service for November. Um, I'm going to suggest that you might like to light a candle, as I've done here. You might like, if you have a holding cross, you might like to use that. But the main thing is just to sit comfortably with your back well supported and uh, on the floor if you want to. Um, I'm assuming most of us will be in a chair. And so we begin our service with the call to worship. And I'm going to put the words onto your screen so that you can share them with us. We are here and God is here. And now before God, we seek to hear their story. We may hear it in the rhythm as in music, art, dance, in colors and in words, in dawn, sunset and starlit night. We wonder at all that is holy, special, and deep mystery. Let us listen for God's story. Holy God, we come to you as we are. We seek you in the night watches. We catch the almost silent whisper of your name in the silence of our hearts as we reach into your mystery. Storyteller God, we come to you as we are. Storyteller God, we weave a web of words for us to hear. Storyteller God, may we breathe your words, your story. Storyteller God, excite us to live our stories to look beyond ourselves, to catch a glimpse of our story wrapped within yours. And together we are going to do our centering prayer, which is a prayer of movement. And the words are simply, we gather, I open, I receive, we offer. So we're going to do that together. We'll just go through that again. We gather, I open, I receive, we offer. So you might like to join us as we do that centering prayer together. We gather. I open. I receive. We offer. And our reading for today is a paraphrase of Mark 4, verses 26 to 29. Jesus said, listen, I'll tell you a story. This one's about seeds, seeds that a farmer planted in his field. Every day he gets up, does his work, walks past that field. Nothing to see. But he knows that deep down in the ground, hair's breadth by hair's breadth, something's happening. Somewhere hidden, somewhere out of sight, God is at work in the ordinary, 
everyday world. Right at the centre of things, there's some deep mystery that we can't fathom and the farmer doesn't try. He just trusts the process. And when he sees the result, when the shoots appear and then the harvest, he wades in and takes advantage of it. That's how God's reign is coming. Look for it, trust it. And when you see it, don't quibble, grab it with both hands. Don't expect it to happen somewhere else, in the temple or cities where the wealthy live. This is where it's coming, here and now, in the middle of your lives. God's not far away, my friends. God is right here with us. You can meet him for yourself in your own heart. He doesn't live in the temple. He's made you his dwelling place. So here we see how God's story becomes our story. We all have our own stories to tell of our journey through this life. I invite you now into a time of quiet as we reflect. So let's be comfortable and fall still. We become aware of how the body feels. The experience that is coming to us through our senses. Nothing is required of us, only that we are still. We notice our breath, just entering and leaving the body. We notice the sights and sounds around us, but we don't engage with them.
And we listen to a poem by Edwina Gately. The Sharing. We told our stories, that's all. We sat and listened to each other and heard the journeys of each soul. We sat in silence entering each one's pain and sharing each one's joy. We heard love's longing and the lonely reachings out for love and affirmation. We heard of dreams shattered and visions fled, of hopes and laughter turned stale and dark. We felt the pain of isolation and the bitterness of death. But in each brave and lonely story, God's gentle life broke through and we heard music in the darkness and smelt flowers in the void. We felt the budding of creation in the searchings of each soul and discerned the beauty of God's hand in each muddy, twisted path. And God's voice sang in each story. His life sprang from each death. Our sharing became one story of a simple, lonely search for life and hope and oneness in a world which sobs for love. And we knew that in our sharing, God's voice with mighty breath was saying, love each other and take each other's hand for you are one though many and in each of you, I live, so listen to my story and share my pain and death. Oh, listen to my story and rise and live with me. Let us enfold ourselves in God's presence. Your presence surrounds us with your story, your love, your care. Enfold us in the joy of the day, the silence of the night. Enfold us when we are active and when we are still. Fold us and then fold us as we follow you in our daily lives. And a prayer written by Dennis Lucas. God of our prayers, God of our lives, you offer a channel of understanding amidst the impermanence and fragility of life. 
Guide us in humility, love and joy through the many challenges and choices we face as a global community. Strengthen our resolve to make appropriate considered changes for our global race and environment. Guide us in this endeavour, we pray. Amen. With the simpleness of Jesus, we pray. Holy God, Father and Mother of us all, in whom is heaven, both present and coming, your will be done from the depths within us. Feed us with the bread we need for today. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. Spare us from times of trial, that we may centre our lives on you. For yours alone is the universe, its majesty and beauty throughout eternity. Amen. Ever-present God, guide us as we listen to your story. Jesus, whose advent we wait and whose presence we have, and the blessing of God, both Mother and Father, the Redeemer and Holy Spirit, be with us always. Amen. Amen. Go to be all that you can in the power of the Spirit, in the name of Christ. Amen. Um,